And good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. We're starting tonight with a 12 News exclusive. A man who was arrested and accused of stealing a car while two 10 year old boys sat in the back seat is now out of jail and currently facing no charges. Team 12's Mark Liverman spoke to the alleged victims who worry that this suspect is a danger not only to the community, but also to himself. It happened so fast that I had no time to think. Wendy Grace recounting that moment on August 12th when she watched a man jump into her car and try to drive off with her kids inside. All I thought is that my kid, I was going to lose my kids and that there was a strange person in the car. So I just, I just reacted. The boy's able to escape the car before the man drove off, later getting arrested in Peoria. Totally was the scariest moment of my life. A moment Phoenix resident Anthony Babian Soto thinks could have been prevented. Had he had been properly either detained or taken care of uh, in terms of rehab or in terms of being incarcerated when he tried to uh, kick our door in, which happened two weeks prior to the carjacking incident, those two 10 year olds would not have been in danger because it wouldn't have escalated to that point. Babian Soto providing 12 News ring doorbell camera of a man. He opens up the screen door, takes a step back, almost like he's prepping himself. He goes for the kick. Attempting to break into his home. <laughs> At that point, I'd be scared for my dog's life because I don't know what he's thinking. Babby and Soto knows the man in the video as his neighbor, who was also the suspect police accused of carjacking Wendy Grace, Sean Dillman. All right, good morning, sir. Can I get your name and date of birth? John Michael Dillman. Dillman, arrested on multiple felony charges, is out of jail again, less than a week later. When we went to speak with Dillman, we found him in a concerning state. John, are you, are you okay? We were so concerned by his behavior and appearance, we called paramedics. They said Dillman wasn't in enough danger to take him to the hospital, but said they've seen him before. According to court records and Dillman's family, Dillman has a history of drug abuse, and his father wishes he could get help. You've got somebody that is going to go and, and break into anybody and everybody's homes. Uh, to get the money uh, to support his habit that he's in right now. Um, and, and we're just very concerned. A concern echoed by Dillman's alleged victims. It's not right that he's out. He could go and do this again today. And, and those kids might not be as lucky as my kids. So uh, he fell through the cracks big time. The county attorney's office tells us they have not filed charges because Phoenix and Peoria police were still investigating. I would like to see the judicial system look at the big picture of this person and not just one of, of the crimes and, and get him off the streets, get him the help that he needs, get us the help that we need. In Phoenix, Mark Liverman, 12 News.